and she ended up freaking all everything freaking out about everything and the main reason why she was so upset i mean it, this was like probably like 80 dollars 80 dollars and she freaked out over it but the main thing that was really making her mad was she was supposed to get her garage done and the guy came back and said oh the price of materials has skyrocketed what's happening guys i'm driving now but i just had a quick thought that came over my head and i kind of want to just get it across to maybe somebody that's going to be in that's growing in the landscape business has been in for a year or two um just getting their feet under them um last week i had a customer uh we were i've i've already gone to this customer's house and we did a property walk and i gave him the estimate um then we get there the day of the job and she's walking around with me and she's trying to add things into the estimate saying that i said yes to those things and now this is the reason why i always do a written estimate with the, the scope of work um a specifications listing um and i also put the price on there so when it comes to the job and we get there and we go to start work a customer can't just add things in and say oh you said yes to this oh you said yes to this and then <clears throat> then you'll be stuck uh, to stuck doing the work or um for the same price i mean it, it's totally fine if the, you show up and the customer says oh can you guys do this and this and this and then you say yeah it'll be an extra price or an extra cost on top of the price that we're already doing for the already set in stone job um that's totally fine um but when you get those customers that are just trying to like sneak some things in there and get a, get a few extra uh jobs out of you while you're there i mean it's just you have to stay on your toes and i mean two years ago i probably would have said yes to that customer and said yep we'll do it we'll do it we'll do it and you really gotta stay set in stone on to what you are um doing on that job and what you have agreed to with the customer i mean it's just there's so many things that you have to kind of keep keep an eye out for um some customers are like that i mean not i don't give written estimates to all my customers just the pretty much just the new customers the customers that i know and i trust and the ones that are loyal i just give them a price when they ask me to quote a job for them um, newer customers that i've never met before i always write it down in the estimate sheet because for reasons like i stated before i mean some people are sadly like that and they'll try to pinch every penny they can and i mean it's tough being in that situation because i mean you want to do it but you don't want to run yourself out of business by doing homes for free stuff for people so yeah i mean i just i wanted to get that across to people in case it maybe have has happened to uh you guys um let me know in the comments and yeah if you guys have any questions for me let me know i'll address them i mean this is only my third year i'm still learning i'm still growing but I mean, certain things is like that. I, like I stated in the beginning, I mean, it's how we put food on the table for our families. And Turn people, right onto Nelson Road. When people take, try to take advantage of that, it's just, it's sad to see, but I mean, it happens. I mean, some people are just like that. Continue on Nelson Road for three quarters of a mile. I gotta turn this damn navigation system off i don't even need it the reasoning behind you saying no to a customer adding on things to the job for the same price you're not going to lose the customer you're already there to, to do the job and they're just trying to get a little bit extra out of you um if anything they're just trying to see how much they can walk all over you and you got to be professional about it um, just say nope. Yeah, we agreed to this. We agreed to this price. This is what we're going to do today. Um, we can find another time, another. We can schedule another time and another estimate for the extra stuff. Or um, if we have time, we can get it done today. Um, it'd just be an extra cost. Yeah, I mean, there's there's certain things you learn as you go. 
and it's it's definitely a learning process and you're always you're always growing so if you guys have any uh situations like that like i stated of your own and you want to share them share them in the comments i'll go through and read them and i'm sure i'm gonna find something interesting maybe something that's gonna jog my memory on another another time with another customer when you give somebody an estimate it's an estimate it's an estimated price in my estimate i always put that the price of materials is subject to change and the price of labor won't change unless like the, the labor hour price won't change the amount of hours we spend on the property may change but the labor price per hour will not change that's the only thing that's set in stone so if you give an estimate in june and then in august you go to get the materials and it's 300 dollars more expensive what do you do you gotta go to the customer and you gotta say hey materials went up so the price of the job is gonna go up i had that situation happen to me where i quoted a, uh, a price like the year in advance in fall and then i was scheduled to do it in the spring and i go to get the materials and it was a big price hike uh, mainly because of the coronavirus and everything that was happening there um but i went to the customer and told them hey uh the price of materials went up i gotta charge a little extra on top of materials um or i'm not gonna make any money and she was all in a tizzy because prices were going up and everything's she's like oh why is everything going up why is all this happening and i mean there's nothing you can do about it me or you neither of us can do anything about it so what's the point of making a big fuss about it if you don't want the job done don't have it done if you want the job done you gotta pay a little extra this customer ended up not having the job done and she ended up freaking all everything freaking out about everything and the main reason why she was so upset i mean it this was like probably like eighty dollar eighty dollars and she freaked out over it but the main thing that was really making her mad was she was supposed to get her garage done and the guy came back and said oh the price of materials has skyrocketed we're going to be charging you an extra 10 grand on top of what we already estimated you and she wasn't happy about that and then i come in and say oh the price of materials changed i need to charge a little more she was already upset about the garage so she took all of her anger out on me which in my opinion was very uncalled for and rude um i won't mention names or anything but yeah i mean that was that was my second year in business and i was like wow i mean you really get to know the people that you do work for and you just there's certain customers that you just when they contact you again you never answer the phone or you just say yep sorry we're all booked even if you have no jobs on the schedule because you'd rather have no jobs than work for that person but in like i was saying before i mean estimates are key to saving your butt write it down give it to the customer and so then that way it's set in stone and nothing can change and make sure there's stuff in the specifications listening that just covers your butt on all aspects well it's been real hope you guys learned something new or found a way to save your butts on your estimate sheets have a nice day